disaster of disasters. No, no, the mayor, the mayor didn't decide to say anything. But a disaster of disasters. We were just at the Fur Blankets dance recital. And the most awful thing happened. It tripped over its feet and landed in a heap in the orchestra pit. It was so embarrassing. Poor thing, it's run off to its room to cry. Of course, the I jumped out of my seat and dashed up to the orchestra pit. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I was, I'm sorry. I kicked the drummer and the trombone player and and punched the harpist in the face. But what could I do? I was getting to my fur baby. I grabbed the fur and carried it out to the nurse's room. So the, and I, I screamed. Is that And, and I was so upset, I even grabbed the fire extinguisher and started spraying it everywhere. And I hit the fire alarm and everybody just started freaking out and running out of the, uh, the room. And I just didn't know what I was doing. I'm going to need an extra session with my analyst this week. Oh, and finally, when everything calmed down and the siren stopped blowing and the... Fire extinguisher stopped spraying everywhere. Finally, there was peace. And the doctor came and examined the fur blanket and gave it tests. It found out nothing wrong with its feet. It's perfectly fine. And, but it discovered that the fur blanket has bad eyesight. Why, it couldn't even see its tag. You know how the tag is the corners of the blanket? It couldn't see its tag clearly. And that's just terrible. No wonder the poor thing, it, it misjudged, misjudged its feet when I was doing the tap dance and, and just tumbled off the stage. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to make an appointment for the fur blanket to go to the eye doctor. Everything happens to me. I've got my analyst appointments, and the fur coat has its analyst appointments, and the jacket, well, at least the jacket didn't have any cavities in its teeth, in its zipper. And now the blanket has to go to the eye doctor, and this is so stressful. Oh, so stressful. And what's worse about that, as soon as the, the blanket heard about having to go to the eye doctor, it shrieked and jumped up and yelled, I'm not going to go to the eye doctor, I'm not going to go to the eye doctor, I'm not going to go to the eye doctor, I'm not going to go to the eye doctor, I'm not going to go to the eye doctor. And of course, it has trouble seeing, it ran right into the door and, oh, its eyesight has just been going downhill. So, here I have a frantic fur on my hands. A frantic fur who refuses to go to the eye doctor. But I'm making the appointment just the same. We can't always do everything in life we want to. And the fur blanket's got to realize that. And it's just been a very stressful evening. I would scream, but I'm too tired. So, I think I will get a cup of tea and... Go to bed. I'll talk to the mirror on the wall tomorrow. Good night. I'm exhausted.